If you're just getting started with Lunar Module 3D for the iPhone and iPod Touch, then this video is for you. I will describe some of the controls, some of the things you should and shouldn't do to beat the mission. So let's go ahead and get started with the first mission, uh, Sea of Tranquility. You can see from the mini-map here that there's only one red landing site needed to complete the mission. So let's do this. Alright, so to get where you need to go, all you need to do is tilt the device in the direction you want and hold the thrust button. One common mistake that most people make is thrusting way too much. Short taps on the thrust button are the way to go. You need to land softly on each landing site, and to do so, you can't be coming in at 100 miles an hour. So short taps, like so, help you stay at a speed you can control. Uh, if you're going to take one thing away from this video, it should be thrust less and only use short taps. So when you're approaching the landing site, you need to make sure your speed gauges on the right are green. You can see both of mine are red right now, which means I'm coming in way too fast. As you can see, my vertical speed is okay, but my horizontal speed is still way too much. So short taps in the opposite direction slows it down nicely. When I'm above the landing site, I want to put it down nice and gently, right in the middle. So like I said, if you just use short taps on the thrust button and you don't hold the thrust button you know, the whole time, you'll be hearing the Mission Accomplished audio before you even know it. <laughs> 